Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky and today we're looking at all things interactive. We're doing a bit of a different uh, setup of a video. So we're going to do a flashback and look at all of the interactive elements, pockets, tip-ins, tags, and then we're going to do a process video using those things. So if you like that style of video where we look at a particular, either a technique or a product and have a look at a few different journal samples and then do the sample, let me know if you like that in the comments. So this first page was a way that I was able to add a larger photo. So um, I used a four by six journaling card and I added that four by six photo, which would not have fitted uh, horizontal across my page. This is one where I also used a four by six journaling card. They're just perfect for traveler's notebooks. They're the right size and some washi. And this allowed me some extra space to add in uh, a photo. If I hadn't have used this tip in, I wouldn't have had enough space to do my journaling as well as including the photo in that. Um, it also just makes the page a bit more interesting to have uh, like a tip in, especially if you've got a lot of photos like this page, uh, it just kind of hides some of the photos so that it's not just photo-y. Do you know what I mean? Know what I mean, peeps? I hope you know what I mean. Oh, this was a fun one. So this, I feel like this might've been a Patreon video, but I did a double tip in, which I've never done before. Uh, so I got a single piece of scrapbook paper, chopped it in half and attached both sides to each page. And it was, um, we had just rearranged. And so I took some photos of our house uh, and I stuck them sideways because of course they were larger scale photos, but without these tip ins, would definitely have not been able to fit all of these photos in at all. Um, but this was, yeah, this was my first time doing a, a double door tip in. If you've tried one of those before, let me know. Um, and I definitely, definitely want to try it again. It was a, a great, um, it was great fun to be able to plonk so many photos on one <laughs> journal spread. Um, I felt really like I had won against the journal page and really pushed it to its absolute limits. Here is another journal page. And if these are journal videos that you haven't seen, um, they're probably Patreon ones. Uh, I film 99.9% .9 of my journal um, spreads. And so if they're not here on Let's Get Inky, they'll be over there. You can see, see what I mean, peeps? I just, glue is not my friend. Sorry, sticker adhesive is not my friend. That ladybug was only stuck down a few months ago and it's already peeling off. And I just get frustrated with that um, but this tip in was actually made from a greeting card so I bought a little pack of uh, blank greeting cards which I'm going to show in a mo these ones little ones here you can get the exact same effect by folding a piece of scrapbook paper in half and sticking the whole half of paper down so usually when I do a tip in, I'll just use some washi tape uh, to add my tip in, which is what we'll do in the process video at the end of this video. Um, but you could also just simply fold a piece of paper. It does add an extra layer of paper bulk, um, but it's really secure. It's much more secure than washi tape. Here's one where I added a postcard. Um, so postcards or memorabilia, brochures, they're all fantastic to add tip-ins to your pages. Uh, they can, especially when you maybe go somewhere and collect a whole bunch of papery things, papery mementos, like, um, you know, we, we, are, we, we are paper lovers and we are a sucker for picking up business cards and brochures and things. I know I'm not the only one, um, but tip-ins are a fantastic way to include your bits and pieces in your journal without taking up um, too much space. You can still add things underneath. So this next journal is my muckabout journal, um, which I created over on Patreon. And it was my, basically like a commonplace book. I I just put everything that I wanted to write down in it. Um, grocery lists, goals, quotes that I'd found and screenshotted, um, basically anything that I screenshot on my phone that just gets lost to the depths of screenshotville, uh, I wrote in this book and I love this idea because it means that I have something tangible to look back on and it makes me remember 
the thing that I've written a lot better as well. Um, yeah, I just, I just really enjoyed this, um, this particular journal. So for this particular one, I have folded up the bottom of the page and made a pocket. Here I have used a little glassine bag uh, and I've got half on this side, half on the other end of the journal and it's just used to put in a little menu for the best pizza shop in all of the central coast. Uh, next up we have, oh that's the other half. So this is the other half of the glassine bag and instead of opening it up at the side there like the previous one, I just did a little slanty cut at the top and popped in a couple of journal tags. Uh, I also just wrote straight onto the bag as well which was fun. Uh, here I included a, um, <laughs> so lame, but a little uh, pe like piece of paper thing. What do they call these? Like a little businessy thing that I got in an order of some vegetable seeds because I am that cool that I spend my free time looking at vegetable websites. Uh, and so I wanted to keep that little card because I thought it was cute. Uh, here I have a pocket, like a pre-made, pre-purchased pocket um, that I've wound the string off and I need to put that back later. So we're just going to put that there. So pockets are another great way of including things. You can use business cards. Um, these are the business cards from um, our old businesses and I could have written things under there. We've got some more tags. These are done, uh, these are put in sideways this time. So you can have sideways little pockets to put things in. And I think a, a junk journals just provide so many opportunities to have a play with different types of interactive elements. Um, you can see here, I really went to town with these giant tags. I used my gel plate um, and I made a video where I um, printed a whole bunch of these tags and I need to make some more of them because I really love them in this journal. And that one is done. And then here, oh, this is an oldie but a goodie, peeps. Do you, do any of you remember this journal? She was finished in 2016, so it's pre-kids. My first ever junk journal. Now, poor old Aaron here, the colour has smudged on his face. So he's looking a little blue, but, you know, it's still a cute photo and I'm not going to reprint it. Um, the, the thing with my junk journals is that if I include photos in them, I don't expect them to stay pristine. That's what my scrapbooks are for. Um, but yeah, so it's okay. <laughs> this one was a menu for, I think it was for Grilled, the restaurant. And I had included the menu in my junk journal and it was an awesome way to add lots of more, lots more photos. I feel like there's a process video on this way back in 2016 here on Let's Get Inky. Uh, so this was a fun way to add, you know, some extra mixed mediaing to my page. And it's just fun, especially with all of the textures um, to, to touch the painty paper and have to move it and fold it and flip it. Uh, for these, I'll show you a bit of an up close. I did reinforce the bends with some masking tape, um, which you can see through the paint, but I, I don't mind that. Um, just so that it didn't rip, I was just a bit concerned that it would perhaps weaken a little bit over time. Um, but hey, she's still going strong. Just going through here to see if there's any more little interactive things and tip-ins. Um, here's a list that I simply washi taped in. I could have written things underneath, but I didn't. Another little four by six uh, journaling card here. And it looks like I've washi taped. How have I stuck this in? I think I've washi taped it underneath and then stuck a piece of paper over the top and painted the coral paint over it. Because I can't see any adhesive <laughs> which it has to have it has to have some sort of adhesive um yeah I don't know how I stuck that one in uh then continuing on we have another couple of tip-ins I thought that was one for there but it wasn't here I've used an envelope uh, that I simply folded in half cut the top and it's a nice little pocket for a tag this was a fun one this was a double tip-in which I, I don't think I've done again 
Um, but I just added my washi tape and included a brochure uh, and a 4x6 journaling card. When I do the washi tape, I do like to reinforce both sides. So you'll see that both the inner flap and the outer part have uh, the washi tape placed over them. And I also always put double-sided tape with my washi when I'm doing this because it's just not, not trustworthy. <laughs> uh, here's another sideways pocket. So this is just a piece of the paper folded over. And we've got this little one, which is cute. Random page from a Frankie magazine with a quote on it that I've popped in there. It's really fun looking over these older journal pages and getting some inspiration. This was a 3x4 journaling card which I've stapled onto here. I don't think I've ever done that again, but it works. It works really well. It is definitely far more secure than uh, washi tape. Um, and it doesn't wobble. Sometimes when you do washi tape, it has a bit of give in it. Uh, or you can see when we do the process at the end of this video, you can easily stuff the whole thing up, which I did. Um, but yeah, I should try and staple again. Just got to be careful of what you is on the other side of the page um, and the back of the staples to make sure that you don't like hurt yourself on them. Here we've got a couple of pockets. So we've got a vertical one and a horizontal one that were just made by uh, sticking pages together. And in this case, washi taping a card to a page. Um, this stuff is so sticky, the texture paste that I used on that. This was a Let's Get Inky video. It's still one of my fave pages. It's just so textury. <laughs> and I think, is that all of the interactive elements? I'm trying to see if there's any more. I feel like there was, but alas, there wasn't. So that's a bit of a bit of a trip down memory lane. I do have other journals. Oh, here's one more. So this is my uh, big junk journal which I'm itching to do another one this size. Uh, this was this was fun. This was real fun. But this is a giant pocket. Uh, this is a big envelope. And I haven't yet put anything in there. I really should. Um, I think I might maybe print off some of the past like printables and art prints that I've done and stick some in there. Because uh, it feels a bit silly to have a pocket that large and commanding with nothing in it um, but that was the only interactive piece for that whole journal which surprised me a lot because it came after I had you know came off the back of quite an interactive one so yeah that that really did surprise me um, but looking back at that first junk journal has it's really made me want to make another really junky junk journal um, so I think I might be doing that soon. We'll see. I'm really, I'm in a bit of a journal, um, kind of a, what's it called? Like you're neither here nor there. I'm in the, the middle zone. I'm in a place of transformation. No, I'm not finding the right words. You know what I mean, peeps? I've, st I've ended journals and I'm kind of in that awkward bit where I need to pick new journals to use, but I don't freaking know which ones to use. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm struggling a bit here. So for this page, we are, there's a couple of photos that are already stuck down because that's my new motto is to stick the photos in first, just to make life a bit easier. Uh, and I've got this photo of Aaron and the kids that was wider than one side of the traveler's notebook, but I did trim it down so that it would fit. Uh, and I'm sticking that onto the back of one of the uh, Inky Quill Patreon printables for last month. Uh, I just really like the colours and, and I thought thought it was a just a pretty piece to use. And so I'm trying to figure out if I want to fold it over and have um, kind of like that greeting card was where I stuck the paper down onto the page and not just use washi. Um, but I decided not to. I started to go with Old Faithful Washi. Now here, this would have been far easier if I had thicker uh, double-sided tape. This was the only double-sided tape that I had on my desk and it is so skinny. <laughs> it is far too skinny for this. Uh, so I do not recommend because I ended up with a flappy uh, hinge, which you'll see in a little moment. And I had to use glue and yeah, if you are using double-sided tape, you need to cover the whole um, 
the whole bit of washi tape, not just the two outer sections like I did. So I realized that I had done the page behind this. So I couldn't do what I had intended, which was to wrap the washi tape around the page behind because there was text there. Uh, and you can see here, oops, stuffed that up majorly. Yep, she's very wonky. That was a fail. Uh, so I redid the tape and then I thought of a different way to stick it down. I'm going to open my page, line it up with the edge of the photo and Bob's your uncle. But see there, can you see, hang on, am I going to fix it up now or later? No, I think I'll fix it up in a moment. You can see with the washi tape, the washi tape won't stick to the paper. It's just, it's just refusing to, which is lucky that I put the tape there. Um, but there's a big flippity gap and the tip in is very loose. Um, I think I might notice it soon here. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, these were some stickers that I printed on sticker paper um, using one of my printables last month. And so I'm popping those on putting some dreaded butterflies on the page because they were blue and a dreaded swan putting them both on the page but I think that the swan's okay because it's hiding behind the tip in and I may have definitely done that on purpose <laughs> I just oh I just don't know how to use swans oh and look there's a black swan there I could have added it and it could have been it could have been mates hanging out together oh poop maybe next time uh, adding some sunglasses because we're at the beach and um, there's sunshine at the beach. <laughs> and then I wanted to put little collections of bluey coloured stickers. Um, I also wanted to use up some of these banners. I've been looking at them for ages and I, I just need to, to kind of jump the gun and just use them on something. Um, I always feel like they won't fit in my project life Um like if on the side of a photo as a label and so I just avoid using them. These little stars are my best friends. They are from Kmart, uh, very cheap but very great. So you can see here, see how there's that little bit of washi that doesn't have the double-sided tape on there? Yeah, that was my boo-boo. So I'm re-sticking that with some double-sided tape and I realise the bottom is like that too. But I can't fit double-sided tape in there, so I'm getting the wet glue onto it, which... Oh, she's risky. She's risky. I could have glued my pages all together then, but I didn't. Luckily, it didn't splurt out. Um, but that was a very risky move. So I just... I feel like to avoid that, use thicker washi tape when you're putting... Sorry, not thicker washi. Thicker double-sided tape um, when you're putting it on the back of the washi. I'm using my Tombow dual brush markers to do my title uh, and I just call it Coastal Kids. I just wanted to write a little bit about how lucky the kids are to only be a few minutes from the beach um, and everywhere we've lived we've only been a, a you know, five minute drive um, to various beaches along here. Uh, we live in quite a uh, a touristy area that the where we are isn't touristy but around us is and so um, in the school holidays especially the summer school holidays uh, it's very difficult to go to the beach because there's a lot of um, there's a greater number of people that usually aren't there on the weekend um, they come up for the holidays which is lovely for them um, but it does make our beaches very busy <laughs> And so we try to uh, go as much as we can on weekends and after school when um, it's it's not as busy because otherwise it, it the parking's just an absolute nightmare. Um, so I'm adding my journaling here with my Pilot G2 in the 07 and just talking a bit about how much um, Archie, Archie is mad for the beach, loves it. He will spin and dive and crash onto the sand and the water and dig like a dog, um, putting sand between, you know, straddled on the sand and putting sand between his legs out the back like a dog would bury a bone. Uh, absolutely loves it. Violet took a little longer to adjust, uh, to acclimatise to the beach, I guess you could say. Uh, it took many, 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 many visits for her to get used to the sand. 
um, she used to just not go off the towel, like refuse to even put a toe off the towel. Um, but now she, she loves it as well and gets right in there with the sand. Hates the ocean though, like her mother a bit. Um, not by, I don't say anything to her and I always go down there with her, but she won't, she will not go near the ocean. Um, one day, one day she'll get there. Now on top of this journal, um, not journal print, inky printable, I wanted to put a sticker. I just felt like it needed a little something. Um, so I tried to use this sticker, but it just peeled off it. The backing, um, didn't come with it. So I couldn't use that one. Um, but I did end up using the everyday, which is at the top, um, up there. And we don't go to the beach every day, but we do, we would drive past the beach or go to the beach probably five days out of seven. Um, it's a bit hard not to drive near it where we are. So um, thought that sticker was appropriate. So thanks for watching today, peeps. Let me know if you like this up close um, video format and if there's anything you want me to look at, for example, heart stencils, the color blue, anything. Let me know in the comments below.